Hello, my name is Corvin Dahari. I'm with the Oracle Data Integration Product Management Team. Today we'll be discussing the latest release of Oracle's flagship data integration product, Oracle Data Integrator 12C. My guest in the studio is Mark Rittman, Chief Technology Officer for Rittman Mead Consulting. Welcome, Mark. Thank you for having me. Mark, so before we get into the details of uh, the 12C release, tell me a little bit about uh, Rittman Mead Consulting. Okay, so we're, uh, we're a specialist, so we're a gold partner uh, based in the UK with offices in the States, India and Australia. Uh, we've been going for about seven years now and about half our business really is uh, around uh, data integration, data warehousing and, and so on. Thanks Mark for the intro on, on Ritman Mead. So let's get into your competency areas. Where, where do Ritman Mead you know, specialise? Okay, we, we specialise in anything to do with business analytics and data integration. So as well as uh, Oracle BI and, uh, and data warehousing and so on, we've got a big practice that works with data integration tools. We work with tools like, um, in the past, Warehouse Builder, more recently Data Integrator, and also tools such as Enterprise Data Quality and Golden Gate as well. Excellent. Uh, and I'm glad you brought up Warehouse Builder. We will come back to Warehouse Builder okay. at some point during okay. this video cast. So uh, it was good. It was good that you brought it up. So let's switch track a little bit now to to the to the Oracle Data Integrator 12C release, which is mm. the the premise for this video cast. Um, your team's been involved in the beta. We've been involved. We've been discussing it for a while now. We we had a um, a session back in March earlier mm. this year. You know what key new features have you seen in 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 your beta testing? that really excite you? Okay, so, so, so as, as a developer myself and as managing a team of developers, I mean, we're, we're very excited by the, the new kind of flow-based mapping uh, paradigm in there as well. So the fact that we can create kind of richer mappings that have uh, far more kind of steps to them, um, you know, that, that's something in, that helps in terms of developer productivity, but also kind of migration from other tools as well. Um, other things in there as well we're interested in, things like pluggable mappings, um, much kind of uh, richer features for things like parallel execution. So, so generally as developers and as people working with customers, there's a lot of kind of very exciting new features in there we're, we're looking forward to using. So how, you know, the flow-based mapping, uh, sorry, the flow-based interface, the reusable mappings, mm -hmm. you think our customers are going to like those new features? Uh, absolutely. I think particularly those customers that are migrating from, say, Warehouse Builder or those that come from other tools outside of Oracle, um, the fact you can create uh, mappings and interfaces, multiple steps to them, much more kind of richer operators and steps in there as well, but, but still using the same kind of ODI approach of knowledge modules and so on, we think that's going to be very, very kind of well received by, by customers. Okay, so we've augmented in valuable new, richer features, what's maintaining um, the core of the product and, and the value that the core brings uh, to the overall project. A absolutely. One of the things that we were kind of most pleased with about ODI when it first came out was it was a powerful framework but in a very kind of simple way of doing things. And what's interesting about 12C is that we've kept that simplicity but augmented it really with a far richer way of creating interfaces, mappings and, and processes. So in 12C, one of the functional areas that we've, we've addressed is the interoperability with Oracle Warehouse Builder. We, we, we touched on Warehouse Builder at the, at the beginning mm. of this video cast. Um, how important is that capability in the 12C release in your mind? Absolutely. I mean, that for, 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 for customers, certainly that is the kind of one of the flagship features, really. Um, a lot of Warehouse Builder customers have been looking towards the features in, in, in ODI over the last few years and thinking, we'd like to be able to use that, but there's quite a difference in, in kind of how mappings work and so on. The fact that we can, you, can, uh, you can interoperate uh, OWB mappings within ODI, the fact that you can kind of control them from a single place, and eventually perhaps migrate into fully into ODI. That, that is a, a massive area really for our customers and we're looking forward to you know, working with them on that. And, and clearly those customers who are, who have, are on legacy versions of Warehouse Builder will have an opportunity now to take you know, the, the, the richer ETL technology mm -hmm. from Oracle and move forward um, with, with a platform and a framework as you refer to it that will give them that capability to integrate what they have today with what potentially they want to have going forward. Uh, absolutely, and, and, and the key thing is it's not a case of, of, of migrating it all now to ODI, you can interoperate. So most customers aren't going to want to perhaps go and refactor and re-engineer all their existing code to run within ODI. Most of them are going to want to run that code in place, but actually uh, monitor it and control it and manage it as part of an overall ODI project. So that's what we see happening first of all, but then as new work comes on board, new projects come on board, 
that will be written in the new kind of ODI 12C way of doing things, um, and that will then work in, in conjunction with the legacy code. So we think it's quite an interesting way and quite a kind of good way of, uh, of, of delivering that, that, that functionality. Excellent. No, I think that's, that's an important point. That there, is a, there is a level of choice there. It, it's not a one or it's not a one fits all type mm -hmm. model, and, and, and we are giving customers mm -hmm. the, 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 the choice that they would like to, to adopt. Uh, in terms of that transition or the integration. Exactly, and I think, you know, from looking at the, the beta and being a long-term long user of OWB, there's a huge amount there that's immediately familiar to OWB customers. Um, the way of working and the, and the, and the operators and, the, and the, kind of the, the general kind of flow of how things work. I think it's certainly it's not a case of moving strictly from one tool to another. There's a lot of stuff in there, the way the operators work and mappings, that is immediately familiar, really, to an OWB customer. At the end of last, sorry, at the end of our last fiscal, uh, we released um, ODI 11.1.1.7, which has the BI apps frame, uh, the the platform for the BI apps release. How are your customers t taking that particular release, and how do they feel that that, from a BI apps perspective, having ODI is going to give them new capabilities from an ETL perspective? Oh, I mean, our customers are, are very, very excited by this. So. Um, for a lot of customers, they, they like the basic proposition of the BI applications, but the thought of investing in, say, a third-party tool was, was, was probably one they weren't so keen on. So most of our customers are, are big users of, of ODI, of middleware, Fusion middleware, and the fact they can apply that, that, that technology and that investment and, and those skills to then work with the kind of packaged BI products as well, and, and in a way that really kind of makes the whole thing very manageable. So, so looking at that new release of the BI apps that uses ODI. There's a lot of other tools around it to make it more manageable um, and, and, and kind of make the whole thing a lot more streamlined, really. So, so our customers are, are very excited about that, really. And so that will be a, um, you know, another reason, another really good reason for them to kind of move on to, onto this release. ODI has the integrated capability with, with Golden Gate. How helpful is that from a, from a data integration perspective? And how important is that? From a customer perspective, so two two slightly different questions there. Okay. One, you know, from the, the technology integration perspective mm. point of view, and secondly, how do customers perceive that as being valuable? So, so that's that's a real. I mean, that the integration between ODI and Golden Gate is is, is a real kind of um, major benefit really for the tool for our, for our customers. I mean, every every, every product, every, sorry, every project um, has a need really to get incremental data loads from from source and and so on and. You know, in the past, you could code that yourself, or you could you could kind of you know maybe try and use some database features. But most customers these days, you know, recognise the value of, of Golden Gate and, and the simplicity in kind of running it and the speed and so on. And, and the fact that ODI works with it so closely um, is is a real kind of major benefit. And, and it, almost every project we do these days has Golden Gate in there as part of it. And the fact that you can control it from o, from ODI is that final kind of piece of the jigsaw them for them really. And you know, looking at the the beta. Again, that's been improved. There's more. There's closer integration there. So, so I think that's going to be on real-world projects. That's going to be a real kind of uh, bonus for the for the product. So, real-time CDC coupled with mm. ETL is is what your customers yeah. are asking for. A absolutely, and, and the fact also it's cross-platform. So, most of our customers um, have, as well as Oracle, they'd have other sources as well. Um, and the fact that we can just as easily plug into other database products and other kind of systems, bring those in as part of that same framework, um, and abstracting away the complexity of, of, of CDC with ODI controlling all the detail, that, that's a real kind of bonus, really. Sure. And it takes away the challenge of having to think about and develop and design extraction routines for, for systems that maybe are not Oracle. Based, mm. so you have a, a standardised solution there. Absolutely. So, so it means that any 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 kind of you know, data integration developer can fairly confidently know they can get data from this system, that system, and so on in a very kind of standardised way. They know it will perform. They know it's well documented. They know it's a kind of a, a world class product doing it. And the key thing is they can control it all from within ODI and not have to learn the details of how of how Golden, work, Golden Gate works. Okay. So just staying on the theme of, of the beta for, for a little while longer, um, during your beta testing, how did you uh, assess the, the operability and the performance elements of, of the new release? Because clearly that's something that customers often talk to us about, is you know, how, how does the rep repository perform, how will the agents yeah. perform? So what have you seen in, in the 12C release uh, in that particular area? Well, that, that's interesting. I mean, obviously in any kind of enterprise tool, one of the concerns is, is, is then the, the amount of administration, the footprint and so on. And, and what we found interesting in, in, in this 12C release 
was that um, uh, a lot of it has been simplified. So, so where in the past there was a cl clear distinction between, say, Java elements of ODI and things within, say, th things within Enterprise Manager, uh, we're finding that the, the install, the management of things is, 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 is simpler. The integration with Enterprise Manager now is kind of richer as well. So, so it's, it, we see it as a series of incremental improvements that have come along, partly through ODI getting more mature, partly through moving to 12C as well. Um, and, and I think, you know, looking at 12C compared to, you know, the previous release, you can see some more benefits in there, it's simplicity and, and management and so on. Sure. I'll come back to the management in a second, Mark. Okay. Um, just wanted to drill into the, the, the performance aspect just for a second. Mm. Um, parallelism, the, the new session-based um, parallelism that's in mm. there, benefit, not benefit? You know, no, what, very, very good. I mean, something that um, we, we found was, was, was a, a, a nice new feature in, in the release was a lot kind of... It's a lot easier to control running steps within an integration process in, in parallel. So typically, you know, typically if you were to write things yourself, you know, you'd do th you know, in the past you would write things that would have a sort of sequential nature to them when actually there is no dependency between them. So one of the nice new features in, uh, in, in 12C is, is a lot better support for running non-dependent steps in parallel. Uh, with really no need for the developer to go in and kind of hand code things and, and change things around. So, so what we've found is, is that a kind of given data integration process without dependencies will run a lot faster because there's this inbuilt parallelism between the, uh, the steps. And I suppose that's going to be valuable for those customers that are moving larger volumes of data and, and you're transforming larger volumes of data, mm -hmm. taking that sequential dependency away gives them a little bit more performance. Absolutely, so, so really two scenarios there. One is your kind of real-time data loading, so where, where time is of the essence and there sure. really isn't any particular kind of dependency between particular steps, then which means we can, move, we can move more data faster and with kind of lower latency. But also we do a lot of data integration projects as well. And again, with those, often there's a lot of steps in there that just have to happen in one go, really. So with this, we found that actually, you know, developing those is much faster and there is a lot more just inherent kind of parallelism, really, in, uh, in, those, in those functions. You touched on earlier um, the manageability aspect of, of ODI. Um, this release brings the integration with Enterprise Manager, and you, and you touched on that. What have you found in the beta specifically around EM and the integration with EM? Okay, so taking a step back, I mean, most of our customers use Enterprise Manager, Cloud Control, for example, to, to, to manage their entire Oracle estate, particularly kind of middleware customers and so on. So I've been looking, and I was really kind of pleased to see in, in 12C a lot closer integration with Enterprise Manager. We can do a lot more in there, we can manage a lot more, we can get more visibility over the, uh, over the status of jobs, um, control the agents and so on. So, so that was, a, for me, as a kind of like someone who, who architects lots of systems, um, being able to uh, control it all from the Enterprise Manager in a lot better way was, was, was a real kind of, you know, good feature in this version. Okay, so as we draw, draw to a close on this video cast, Mark, um, what would be your leaving thoughts uh, around the 12C release and what you've seen so far? You know, can, what would you, can you tell the audience uh, you know, about some snippets that you'd just like to leave? Well, it's, it's just, you know, very exciting, really. I mean, we're, 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 so, we're so excited to see the new flow-based mappings. That's something as long-term users of Warehouse Builder as well. It's great to see that feature coming into the product. And it's great to be able to see that you know, our, our warehouse builder customers could so easily adopt that technology. Uh, I think the general kind of path for those customers to move into ODI is, is, is there now, that's good. Um, you know, we're very excited about some of the incremental improvements around things like the speed of, of, and, and the um, parallel execution of queries. Um, so it's all, yeah, all very exciting really and we're, we're looking forward to get our hands on it for some customer projects. Thank you, Mark. Thank you for having me. And I'd like to thank you all for watching our data integration videocast.